Okay, so since you asked, let me give you a good look at it. It's going to be kind of retarded here to try and figure it out. Um, the hair, they they put in really good, but it's really shapeable. It, uh, it's everywhere. It falls out everywhere, but there's plenty of it still there. And it gives the good look of being covered. Really good look. Um, it's it does okay. You can tell they punched a couple little bits of black and stuff in there every occasionally, but nothing to take away from it. The skin's done up good. It feels thick around there. I compare it to CFX, which might not be. Uh, fair but uh, I like the design so I don't give a rip now up around the eyes it's not as thick as CFX like the tiger but uh, I have to put padding up in there to keep it away from the eyes I have put a pad in the chin to enhance the mouth movement though it's not that great the slit that they cut for this mouth it's not exactly even when I get it on but uh you still get people that have never seen something like that go, oh my gosh, your mouth moves. And I'm like, yeah, okay, cool. As long as you believe it. Um, I padded up the top of the head because evidently they got taller heads than me when they formed it. So I'll usually put a like a skull cap on there with a bit of a yoga mat. Actually, a little bit more than that, though. But once I get the uh, skull cap, I want to put the yoga mat in a small square under the skull cap, then on the top of the head, and it seems to keep the eyes in check even with the pads, and it helps with the mouth movement. Now, they're painting, they're airbrushing. I, I want to cry a little bit foul for not paying attention to detail. They could have stretched some of this out a little bit to, to get in there because there's some of that, and if I knew how to do this, that'd be great. I don't, and if it stretches out, not too many people are going to notice. But you can right here, just like that. It kind of gets up in there in the folds, and they didn't get it. Um, that happens a couple of places. Uh, the nose has a wet look to it, which is really great when you're uh, talking with people. It's like, oh my gosh, your nose, it looks so wet. I can't tell if that's really real or you or what. Which is good, depending on how you use them. Um, the ears are floppy. It kind of reminds me of the uh, like that gremlin thing that they had, or the imp, one of the CFX ones that I've seen. Uh, now, like I said, for fit, it, it's fine. I don't have too much to base it on, so just one other. And the CFX Tiger Head stock colors, that thing fits really good, except for the eyes. But, uh, and... I always question the mouth thing, but again, if you can eat and drink with the dang thing, it's a lot more than you can do with other stuff. Alright, so like inside though, okay, so I've never had one that's been haired or furred or punched. So you've got a really, really rough surface up in here. Now, it hasn't felt bad at all. Maybe they made one, one or two little pricks around the neck after a couple hours of wearing. And I have worn this thing for, oh, Let's see, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2. So you're, you're talking about 5 and 4 to 6 hours at a time without even taking it off, and I don't notice it. It's, of course, if you've done any costuming before, this is a cakewalk. Mainly because partial clothing, you're still allowed to relieve yourself in a traditional fashion without being worried about it. Um, the blackness up in there, that's mainly going to be from me having colored my eyes to give a more, well, give a, give a better look. And it, it does pay off. I said the, the thickness, the thickness doesn't feel as, as, as sturdy as well. See, it gets real thin right here. And let's see, what is that? That's the front. Yeah, that's the front. That's excusable. Uh, I've been putting it on like any of the traditional ones that they've talked about. You know, you kind of put your hands on either side and you slide it from the back. Uh, the colorations of this guy, <laughs> he was an old guy look, but you know, I was going for the old old werewolf looking thing, you know, kind of don't mess with me, growl, growl, crap like that. Uh, they did it a little bit darker than I would have preferred. There was no 
There wasn't a lot of dialogue, though I didn't force the issue either. It's the first time I had messed with him. The guys are the guy Juan is really great to mess, uh, talk with initially. He uh, he took the phone call. I discussed with him what I'd like. He took notes. That was about the only contact we had. And then, uh, of course, I had sent one reminder email saying, "Hey, listen, uh, just you know, I don't know when you're going to contact me, but make sure I know the." number when it gets in the mail. He goes, yeah, don't worry. We'll send you a tracking number. Heck, it wasn't about a week or two after that. He's, boop, hey, it's in the mail. Coming at you. Here it is. Which is cool. Got it. No problems. Yeah, the colorations are pretty good. I don't know if anything's going to fade. I don't know what kind of paint they use on these guys. Silicone's a weird thing as far as I can tell from everybody that knows anything about it. Yes, I'm talking a lot, but whatever. I do the corny little thing. <laughs> like those guys that get on the tiger heads. Growl, 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 yeah. It's like, just cut it out, dude. Just talk. Tell me what you think about it. Let me see it move. I'm not going to wear it to show you on this one. Um, the It looks a lot yellower than it is. Uh, mainly these stupid lights, so you see the colors changing back and forth. Mainly because of the fluorescence right above me. It breathes pretty good. Uh, no, whole, no problems with the nostrils. And after about five hours, one nostril's kind of plugged up, and I gotta blow myself out once I uh, get it off. But yeah, no problem, no problem at all. Yeah, and like I said, the hair, the hair, you you can you can style this stuff. He said it's a mixture of synthetics. Well, sometimes he mixes synthetics with along with like goat hair or something. So I'm not sure what type of mixture I have with this guy. There wasn't a lot of talk about it. I just said, give me the. Give me the most amount of, give me the, the right kind of hair that makes it look like I have a full head. I do not like fleshy, fleshy wolves. Well, not like, you know, no hair and all that good crap. So he said, yeah, yeah, we're good with that. And, um, yeah, I have, I'm under the understanding that he can pretty much color it any way he wants. I'm kind of playing with my finger right there alone under the stuff. I don't have any reason to think that anything's weak back here. The ears, they do have little holes in them. I think I have to clear out some uh, some silicone f back, uh, some of the silicone backing for uh, the hair. I need to clean out. Like, uh, yeah, this one right here. <laughs> I have to clean that thing out. His hearing isn't perfect. I find myself leaning up against people just trying to figure out what they're saying. But I'm going to have to get that cleaned out. I'll just take some snips in there and get that gone. Probably enhance my hearing on one side. Uh, yeah, he's he's floppy-eared. I I like him. Uh, people, and you get that <laughs> how people react to these things. You know, it's a mixed bag. They either don't know what to make of it, they think it's cool or whatever. But that's kind of everything. Um, I'm happy with the design. Like I said, if I could have had my had a little bit more dialogue with the guy, if I had pushed the issue, I would have made these markings a good bit lighter. I wanted him whiter, but meh, it'll work. Work clothing around it, give him a look, and uh, something that'll work. Uh, I said this this video is mainly for one or two people that were interested in seeing this guy in a little bit more detail. I'm not wearing him right now. So there's little bits of stuff. There's little things. Uh, the trimmings. You know, this is really flimsy. I I don't even remember what the tiger feels like. This is really flimsy. Now, if you don't mind it pushing against your eyes, it pushes right up on your skin. Almost, it makes it look like it's part of your, part of your face. Now, the way I do it, I push. I um. I use some, uh, padding right about here, a little kind of crescent moonish, shaped stuff out of some, uh, yoga mat crap, and uh, it pushes away from the eyes up top, and. It it's a little bit clearer after that. I mean, it, it makes me feel a little bit better. It does make it look like it's a mask at that point. It, it pushes it away. There's a small gap, but you uh, compensate that for by coloring the eyes appropriately under there, which for this is just a simple black. Thankfully, the colorations on this, if I get any black from my eyes on the mask, it's not going to hurt anything. At least it looks anyway, and I suppose it'll wash off. I hadn't tried yet. Um... I don't know washing techniques on this guy. I'm not really washing them on the outside, but I'll spray lukewarm water up in the inside to rinse them out and kind of use a little bit of a this to roll up, 
shove it in the head and that way he's got plenty of air going in there and I use a squirrel cage fan and I'll take care of them pretty good uh, videos long enough let me go ahead and cut it down put it up yeah I don't know if that does anything I like this um, I would definitely buy from these guys again I mean, just customers customer service uh, but there is a difference like I said comparing them to one of the the the, the higher ranked people the silicone mask makers out there it's unfair but th those people did not have this design and I am quite fond of my my werewolf stuff so go figure maybe I'll get back but they raised the prices on this guy I got it right before they went up and to get another one's going to be a, a true investment I uh, don't know if I'm really ready to make right now yeah well check them out though altered flesh effects uh, the person that I'm aiming this video towards already knows where it's from but uh yeah, for future reference. Later.